Hey, Chris Menard here. Feel free to check out my team's online training course. Three hours of material, best training course you'll ever have for Microsoft Teams. New feature rolling out to Teams users really soon. When you're in a Teams meeting, you can have video filters. Let's dive into this right now. So I'm already in Teams. There are three ways to turn on these video filters. I'll demonstrate all three and I'll show you some video filters. Uh, you just need to be in a meeting. So I don't care whether you're doing a meet now or joining a scheduled meeting. You don't have to be the organizer. You don't have to be the presenter. Two cameras running. Sorry about that. This is the one I want to use. So let me see if I'm working over here. I am. Before you join the meeting, we have video effects. Let me click here. I'm going to maximize my screen. Backgrounds. We have had backgrounds for a while. What is new is we've got these filters right here. I'm just going to go ahead and click on one or two just to start. There's one of them. Click on another one. There is blue waves. They all have a name on them. What is cool is there's a lot more. If I go to more video effects right here, they are now on my screen over here in the side panel. And by the way, I still haven't even joined the meeting yet. So that's another cool feature. You've got styles. I'll pick a style just to show you this. I'm not crazy about these yet. Uh, you got styles. I'm going to go to none. And then you've got frames. Let's look at the frames again. I've already demonstrated those first two. Here you go. Animated balloons. How's that look? I'm going to just pick one more. Actually, I'm going to pick two or three more. Here's one that I actually really like because I usually don't use stuff like this, uh, except when it's appropriate because I'm usually doing business meetings. But in Microsoft Teams, a lot of people don't know this. When you're in a Teams meeting, people know how to chat. People know how to raise their hand to get your attention. There's actually a Q&A feature when you're in a Teams meeting. What is different about Q&A versus a chat is a chat's just linear, one item after another. The Q&A can be in uh, threaded. So if someone says, how can I sort in Microsoft Excel? That is the question. You and other people can do an answer for that question. But as soon as that question was asked, someone else says, well, in Microsoft Word, how do I set up headers and footers? So we've got two questions, but we answer the questions are answered in a threaded method, very similar to a channel conversation versus just a chat. So there is a Q&A feature and look right here. I could say, hey, don't forget, there is the Q&A feature. It's up on the ribbon. Click on it, ask a question. Me or one of my associates will give you the answer. There's an example of that one. There are other ones in here. So... I'm actually liking this. I really do like this Q&A one right here. Even if you're not using the Q&A feature in Microsoft Teams, the official Q&A, it may be a good time. You pause your presentation. You get you stop the present, stop the screen share, get back and say, hey, it's Q&A time. Feel free to unmute and ask any questions. I'm really liking this. So Coming out really soon, it is February 11th, 2023. You'll have this really soon. I appreciate your time. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. Feel free to ring the bell. Everyone have a wonderful day. Thank you.